Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. And Wheelhouse Garage says this Montessa was the world's first two-stroke dual sport. But, well, he said maybe, but in any case, he was wrong. Because this is, this is a Boltaco. Well, actually, that's not either. Yeah, it's a Boltaco, and it's older than that. But if this is the oldest dual sport two stroke, what the heck is that? Wait, I'm confused. This, wait, what is this? It's a Boltaco Matador. This is a Model 16. This came out in 65. That came out in 66. Those have been around forever. We're using this brethren. But this is not the first Matador. The first Matador was a Model 4. But wait, it says M4 and B4. What's going on? Hey, did you write this stuff? You're fired. Oh, I wrote this stuff. How can I forget my line? It's only 10 in the morning. Oh, for crying out loud. This is a cluster. Hey, if you like my channel and you get these jokes, do me a kindness. Like and subscribe. Anyway, this is a 1966 Montessa Scorpion. I think in some worlds, they're called an Impala, and I think at Dallas it'd be a 175, and I think in Europe there was a Sport, but they're called all different things, but it's still a Scorpion, and that's the 250cc model. It's a Model 23, but this is a Boltaco, and yeah, it's a Model 16, but it's also a Model 4, because back then well taco didn't identify its models in the first digits of the VIN I mean they sort of did but they sort of didn't the model 4 was kind of like this but it was a 200 cc two-stroke where this is a 250 there's some other differences like here in the covers here in the fender mount maybe some others but it's still a model 4 and they never had a model 16 with a 16 in their serial number it's a model 4 and a d suffix which means it's a 250 cc so the 200 came out in 63 which would make this well the 200 version possibly the oldest two-stroke dual purpose motorcycle but what's that well this and its brethren is a greaves and yet yeah, they're two-stroke but i don't think these were purpose-built enduros this was a trials bike I believe it would have been a Scottish and for America they put the lights on and called it a TFS so if you're just taking a competition bike and putting lights on it yeah it might be a dual sport but it's not really designed to be a dual sport I think the Boltaco 
they had street in mind and dirt and it really is a do everything kind of bike much like the montessa and i would compare it to yamaha's dt1 which is another do everything bike nothing 100 percent great super but everything well and this is a trials bike with lights and it might not be the first two-stroke street legal bike i know that zundap made a 200 enduro in the 50s out of the db 200 but that was a street bike that they hung lights on and put a high pipe on much like oh i guess they did with triumph cubs they made scramblers even a gold star scrambler but those are four stroke and those were street bikes converted for dirt they weren't built with dual sport in mind so maybe this is the first purpose designed dual sport motorcycle at least the first generation of these and we're going to light it up Get this a little closer first off it's not an amel or a bing it's an irz carburetor some of these early Boltacos had irz's and some had zeniths most of them have been removed and replaced with a Bing or an Amol. And the radial head, you can tell it's a four speed by the shape with the shifter back on this triangle. That's a completely different bottom end than on the later five speeds, which started with the Model 23, the Metrella Mark II. The other thing that's unique about this particular motor is if you look, there's a speedometer drive on the bottom. I actually have different worm drive gears and they made a cover plate for the off-road version of this bike, which might've been a Sherpa T or a Sherpa N. What else is unique? I'm looking at this looks like your normal foot peg the springs are different than first first thing and I've been trying to do inventory looking at all these different weird springs look at this and here's one for the side stand do you ever see a spring like that for a side stand and I have these chain guards they have four rivets, where the Apina has two rivets up there, but I wonder if they're the same. Here's that chain guard, new old stock. I got a lot of old four speed parts and sometimes the only way to identify them is to look at the bike. 300 series side panels, which would be a Model 3. That says Matador Mark II, that's not right. And then this year, they had leading axle, which I didn't know they had that early. Here's another mo Model 4 engine. And this one doesn't have the D suffix, so it's probably a Mark 1 Matador. We'll measure the bore. Roughly 64.5, so that's 200 cc's and it doesn't have the radial head. What's interesting about these old round case, round barrel Boltacos is they mount with a flange. Why am I showing you all this stuff? Well, this is how I learned. Sometimes I get it wrong. And some of you will be the first to tell me never heard this thing run. You 
know what? I guess I should check the oil. Osas have IRZ carburetors. It's got a tickler. We got gas. No leaks. Here goes nothing. And we broke the kicker. The snap ring came off. <laughs> That's a known thing. I gotta fix that. <laughs> Well, I found the snap ring, but I also learned the four speed kick starters are different than the five speeds. So the early round cases, you have a shaped kicker and there's a ball bearing in here, which I don't know where the heck that went. So we'll figure it out. Okay, we are back for round two. Start over. So I fixed the kicker. We got gas. No drips. again oh man all the parts are here oh my gosh all right so now I'm cheating we're gonna use the updated kicker see they don't have a snap ring we'll fix the other one and save it for posterity but uh that's a taco thing. Well, now that's fixed forever. Enough of that crap. Crap! I think what we got here 
another one of them tacos from another one of those bikes that was restored and not run because that ain't right sounds nice and brappy but it's got no power so i guess i gotta check the timing and the jetting on that irz carb oh that's gonna be fun and get a kickstart rubber. Great.